Good day guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the next big update for Luma Fusion, which I believe is 2.5, coming up. Now, a lot of you might have seen the Apple event already and uh, where they announced the brand new amazing iPad as well. It took me some time to watch it though because I was too busy making the free presets for you. So it's down in the description below, free presets for LumaFusion. Go check them out if you are interested. Uh, anyway, I was watching this event and I came to the part where they announced the new iPad. And I was checking out this guy color grading on the iPad and I saw something that looked like LumaFusion. So I had to zoom in a little bit and I saw, yeah, this is LumaFusion and why is, why, why is there scopes there? So I had to dig a little bit deeper and I found the same image as a post on LumaTouch's Instagram and I started looking at the description. And this, this is exactly what it says. Multicam sync. Create clips with automatic time code or audio sync for real time shot selection and switching footage from multiple camera sources in your edit. Optimized for touch, you can use this new interface to edit multicam media in a fraction of the time by syncing 12 camera sources and multiple audio tracks, which is insane. Now the next one is something that I got wrong. But I fully take responsibility for that. Uh, it was uh, my mistake. I should have done a little bit more research. Uh, but at the time, I thought it worked, but it took some time for the iPad to actually update the storage and it just got messed up. So I take full responsibility for that. But now this is coming and edit directly from an external hard drive. Try to manage huge amounts of data on your iPad's limited storage is about to get a whole lot easier. LumaFusion will soon take advantage of Thunderbolt Force increased data transfer and allow you to edit footage directly from an external drive without storing it on your iPad. There we have it one of the most crucial things for everyone. Not everyone can afford, you know, the iPad with two terabytes or one terabytes of storage. And uh, a lot of people already have an iPad, uh, which is 64 gigabytes. I don't want to buy an iPad which has a terabyte or two. For me, 256 is enough and it works now for everything that I do. 256 works for me and I don't need to upgrade the storage. Now this allows me to, you know, keep everything an external hard drive and then maybe go down to 64 or 128, whatever is the lowest, to just keep that storage on the iPad for the, for the OS and the updates. And this is really, really exciting. I'm so stoked to make a video on this. When we see this, it might take some time because I believe LumaTouch will have to get a hold of a brand new iPad for them to, you know, configure everything so it works, test out bugs and, and all of that. I'm not sure if this is going to work right out of the box when the update is uh, is coming, hopefully, but we'll have to wait and see. So this is really exciting for me and I think this is something that you guys are looking forward to as well. Now the next thing is something I actually made a video of uh, back in October 2020, which was a concept video uh, of how I wanted the next color grading system to look like in LumaFusion. I'm not sure if LumaTouch watched that video, um, but the new system is looking fairly similar to what I created as well. Now here is what it says on their Instagram. Scopes. You'll soon have more control over how your video looks with a new video scopes interface. Accurately measures uh, levels and colors in your video so you can dial in the perfect look in LumaFusion. Now this is really insane. I'm not sure if it's gonna be more than just the scopes. I would really, really like to see uh, some curves. Curves is what most people use. Curves is what I want to use. You know, I want to use the curves because the curves gives the best sharpening as well. If you've seen some of the videos I made back in the days and a lot of other people's have uh, made as well, you can see that just adjusting the different settings uh, compared to using uh, the uh, uh, curves, you can see that adding curves gives more sharpening and better image quality overall. So this is something that I highly 
suggest they get in there fast if uh, if it's not coming already. Uh, but what I know is scopes. So the concept that I made is um, is fairly similar to what you will see, and you can also see an image right here. This is from the Apple event, and uh, you can see how everything is lined up. So it's going to be a lot easier to make. Um, the perfect skin tones and the color grade and adjust the different colors and to see if any colors are peaking You don't want anything to peak because it causes artifacts and tearing in the colors and it's gonna be Ugh. This is really exciting to you know see what colors are peaking and bring those down to get a more accurate look in Luma Fusion. So this is what they say on Instagram. Stay tuned for more announcements later in the year and strap in for an exciting summer. This exciting summer, then uh, my predictions are this might come in late May. I think back in 2019, they dropped an update in late May. So you have the time to, you know, practice a little bit before you go out and shoot your videos. I'm not sure how they plan out everything, uh, but I hope and think this might come in late May. So we have some time to play around with the different things before we go out and shoot the events and shoot the cinematic videos. Hopefully things start to open up a little bit more so we can do some more traveling. And uh, this is... Uh, this is some really exciting news. Now, let me know in the comment section below which of the three mentioned multicam editing, uh, edit from an external hard drive or the scopes, which of those three are your favorite feature? And is there anything else that you want uh, to see in combination with this or in the next update. Usually they come with a huge update and then it comes sort of minor updates after that. So let me know down in the comment section below. It really helps out to push what we need towards uh, uh, the next update as well. Now that's going to be the end of today's video. I just wanted to give you this short announcement just in case you haven't seen it already. And I am really looking forward to the brand new features and to test them out and to see how they work in reality. So with that said, thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.